हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स इट्स मी उमेश पाल विथ यूर न्यू पार्ट ऑफ द लेसन दैट इज साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी इन दिस पार्ट वी विल कवर सम ऑफ द पॉइंट्स सो लेट्स बिगिन विद द क्लास हियर द फर्स्ट पॉइंट दैट इज द इसरो ना व्हाट इज इसरो इसरो इट इज एन इंडियन स्पेस रिसर्च ऑर्गेनाइजेशन after the success of the basic programs in our country in the field of space research and the rocket related projects the isro the term comes in the space research and the rocket related projects so under this isro we the indians are launching number of the rockets so the indian space research organization indian space research organization that is isro it was established or set up on 15 august 1969 that is 15 august 1969 the day isro this organization is established and through this or under this it carries out the further space researches in our country so its the headquarter of isro are at bangalore so bangalore is a headquarter of this isro organization this isro organization it activated the space station at shri harikota and this lies in the andhra pradesh so the andhra pradesh it is a place where we can see the space station of isro at shri harikota and then the isro launching out our satellites in the space so what is the work of the isro through the isro under the guidance of the isro our country launched or launching number of the satellites or the rocket programs in the space so the next one is bhaskar first now see bhaskar first so india launched the remote sensing experimental satellite so bhaskar first it is an one of the remote sensing experimental satellite which was launched from the soviet union in 1979 In the 1979, this was the first this remote sensing experimental satellite. It was launched. This was launched in order to observe the various things on the surface of the Earth. So it can advocate the number of the things on the surface of the Earth by the remote sensing. technology so it is a kind of remote sensing technology which helps us to go into the depth of the earth and find out the number of the resources and this is what this remote sensing technology worked for this remote sensing technology would be useful for india's development regarding water bodies minerals then the forecasting of the weather so before the any calamity or before any danger with the help of this remote sensing technology we can get signals for example suppose uh, weather forecast so the weather forecasting that means how is the temperature where will be the sunny day where it will be raining this all type of weather or the climate we can get with the help of such a kind of remote sensing satellite or technology 
so there are the number of the photographs which are taken with the help of this technology about the interior of our earth and the environmental as well as the on the earth we can see there is a environmental changes there is a forest areas in which area the amount of trees and the forest areas are there we can find out with the help of this technology another use of this technology we can find that in which area we will find the information with the help of this satellite which is very useful for the oceanography that means through the ocean through the seas we can see the types of minerals which are hidden so in 1981 bhaskar ii was also launched from the soviet union respectively next one you can see aircraft So Apple is an Ariane passenger payload experiment. So the first and the most completely indigenous built satellite by the ISRO in India. Apple is an completely made by Indian technology with the help of ISRO. And this Apple was launched on 19th June. 1981 1981 and this apple this technology it was beneficial in the field of education and the objectives of providing emergency telecommunication services was very successful with the help of this technology and this is what we can see about an apple Next one we can see insat. Now what is meant by insat? Insat it is an Indian national satellite. This Indian national satellite in August 1983 it was established. Insat, the Indian national satellite in August. 1983 it was established and this satellite is sat first to be in sat first to be it was launched in the space because of this satellite a major revolution came about in the area of telecommunication including television radio or weather forecasting etc through this we can handle such a type of information with this technology this space research in india also we can control by this indian national satellite due to insat 207 akashvani or radio stations they could connect it to each other to see the information and this type of mechanism which was also very useful for research and rescue of people who caught in some of the dangerous situations and in the natural calamities for example there are the number of the examples of disaster such as aeroplane crash for forecasting the weather earthquake volcanoes so in this situation people may caught by so to rescue such a people from such a dangerous situation this type of insat work for it providing the signals okay then we can include types of cyclones okay then we can see such a type of technology is also helpful in the field of education as well as in the field of telemedicine that the telemedicine services 
enable the people or such a population those who live in the remote areas and to get advice and treatment from expert doctors the public primary health centers in the village have been set up or connected with these super specialist hospitals with the help of inside so in order to connect patients and doctors providing good type of facilities and services in time the inside this technology is very useful next one we have technological progress in this point we can see there are the number of the factors such as railway engine factory which is manufacturing the number of the engines of the railways such as locomotives for example chittaranjan locomotives which work and which is set up at the chittaranjan in the badwan district in the west bengal next one we can say the steam engines electrical engines as well as we can see the engines which are running on the diesel so the first diesel locomotive works at varanasi so the first diesel engine it, it was manufactured at varanasi in india we can see these services started exporting railway engines to different parts of the nation for example we can see the india started to export the railway engines such as in sri lanka bangladesh then we can see in the vietnam tanzania number of the places the services were started as exporting the railway engines because this type of technology it was preserved and started by the indian scientists and that's what it is the best technology in these field of railway engines so the next one we have telex service the department of telecommunication under the ministry of communication started the telex service in the 1963 this system was used to to foster the or to transmit the typed messages from one part of the country to the another part of the country very rapid but this system it was available only in the english in the 1963 this telex service it was available in the english language right after in the year 1969 in the 1969 the telex service started in the devanagari script that means the messages we can transmit into another two languages that is hindi and marathi and this service was started in delhi later this system spread all over the country and this service it was very useful to use in the different fields with the help of this service we can communicate our ideas we can send our letters or mails quickly but as the use of the internet the with the rise of the internet after the 1990s so in the 1990s we can see the use of internet services so with this internet services we can see the significance of these kind of services collapsed or reduced like tele service it was not used in more quantity or it were not so beneficial after 1990s because of the use of internet so this is what in the today's class we have seen 
in the next video we will cover up our next points including mobile or satellite centers or oil and natural gases etc so thank you for watching this video and have a nice day